what's up welcome back to another episode of midpoint i'm your girl daylon and in this video i just wanted to come on and do something um that could possibly help a few of you to kind of like evolve emotionally uh a lot of the lessons that i've learned in my life that has been very challenging for me has been in relationships romantic relationships specifically um, this video is really to share with you how I kind of look at relationships now because it really helped me to not be so stuck or tethered to my ego and to just kind of like let everything go and just learn exactly what's going on so that, you know, I could keep doing the work and keep evolving into my purpose, into my higher self, into a better version of myself so I don't repeat these um, lessons, right? And it's to look at relationships like assignments. Look at these experiences like lessons, literally lessons. You know how you're in high school or junior high school, whatever, how you're in school, college, and you have to um, study. You get a whole timeline, you get a whole addendum, or you get a whole um, subject to study. And throughout the next few weeks or months, you're studying a few things until you get the big test. And in between each of those tests, you get like little quizzes or little pop-up exams. You kind of want to look at relationships like that. That's how I've learned to look at it and how it helped me. Because now, when you go through certain situations, um, like I have, I've gone through a lot of heartbreaking situations where I was constantly getting in a relationship and I would be left. I would, <laughs> you know, somebody would choose someone else over me. There's people constantly talking about me in a negative connotation. And a lot of that, granted, I'm going to take complete accountability and say I may have not um, positioned myself well or even um, showed up in the way that I should have been because I wasn't aware of it. I wasn't aware of it, you know, and a lot of that time, a lot of that, I want you guys to realize you are creating your reality. So if it's something that you do not desire in a relationship, you're literally creating it either from um, unconsciousness behaviors and habits and thoughts um, from other programmings from others or even from yourself that you believe from others. And it takes a lot of shadow work and deep work to really, um, you know, just forgive yourself and forgive others to really realize what is really going on on a deeper level as well for you to help you to release that. So when I start to look at relationships like lessons, now your third eye really gets to be opened up, right? Your third eye gets cracked open, but it's also going to require for your heart to get cracked open because a lot of those times those um situations that you guys went through probably you was heartbroken right like my heart has been broken a thousand pieces over and over and over again and i have no one else to blame but myself i put myself in those positions um i acted impulsively or i acted in a low vibrational way not realizing that this is what i was doing but having to pay attention to the result would have been what would have been the aha moment for me to be like oh you know whatever you put in is what you get out now a lot of these times don't get it twisted i always showed up with a positive intention to actually want to be in a partnership to actually want to be loving very loving very giving and whenever you're over giving especially if you're an empathic individual you tend to attract a lot of narcissistic or people that have narcissistic qualities to them that just want to take from you. Sometimes people will look at you and look down on you because they see that you don't have the clothes, the money, the whatever that society is portraying to be the it thing. And they treat you less than, you know. Meanwhile, you know who the hell you are from the core, right? I know who I am from the core. But because other people see other things and they're attached to materials of the world, um, you're not meshing. And you're going to try to create and keep giving to energies that only want to take from you and leave you behind. And one thing that I've learned in my lessons and my experiences in these romantic relationships, it was to realize that I get to stop trying to work with others that do not deserve my light and get to be more discerning. Because every time I go through a breakup back to back, it's just chipping away from me. And this is where you get to be confused, sad, depressed, or anything like that. Because a lot of your light has been taken away from you. It's like punctured holes within you. And, you know, I'll get to how you could start to clear that. But first, you have to realize that you created these realities 
um, these experiences for you to learn a lesson. It was an assignment. You had time to study, you had time to go through it, and now it's time to determine if you need to get left back, <laughs> take it again, or if you need to progress and go into the next grade, the next level, or even skip a few levels or two, right? I don't think we get to skip levels. I think it depends, however, like energetically or even like on, on different dimensions and stuff like that. But um, I do know that when I see it that way, it helps a lot. You know, sometimes the situation is probably teaching you to, hey, you don't need this person. You could do this on your own. Another experience could be like, hey, you don't need to love. Um, you don't need to give love like that or, or give yourself in that way just to show that you're worthy. You are worthy by yourself. You are worthy alone. You are worthy just as you are. You know, maybe you don't need to overgive, stop overgiving. Uh, maybe you don't need to neglect yourself. If you feel like you've been neglected or abandoned, you're abandoning and neglecting yourself. You have so much love and attention to give to yourself. Maybe you're someone that you would help other people with their businesses and give them a little um, tips here and there based on how you feel genuinely and because you have so much light within you don't mind sharing they'll take it become successful and leave you behind you'll never hear from them again that you won't even get a kudos or anything like that and that's all fine and dandy you did what you were supposed to do but now you see that you're giving yourself away right you're giving yourself away 633 as i said that which is interesting um, if you're called to, feel free to go and look up the number 633 for yourself. It could be a message in there for you. Um, but now when you start to like call your energy back, right? Through meditation, through frequency healing, energy healing, Reiki healing, balancing out your chakras, um, just learning a lot more about how you're showing up and being accountable and taking the actions, taking the action steps, you really start to help to clear yourself away from creating unnecessary results that you do not want when it comes to relationships for me it's literally been back-to-back -back heartbreak being used a, a abusive relationship when i was in six when i was 16 um you know it's just been really toxic and i'm not someone that really deserved that so then i have to realize where is that coming from and let's not even start to talk about conversations when it comes to dealing with um like past life karma or even just like uh generational curses okay <laughs> that's a whole nother that's a whole nother thing that you get to look at also because everything is energy you can't just think oh because you're this person you created this and that's it no sometimes these experiences are not even yours but because you're the one that is the most empathic it falls on your shoulders to take care of and to clear for you for the future generations and for your past generations and yes it gets that deep okay it gets that deep this is not just oh this is just your physical life you get to do whatever you want and that's it no there's usually a higher purpose to what it is that you're doing and there's a lower purpose to what you're doing so it all matters on where on the scale are you thriving or residing on right so that's what really helped me to really look at these relationships like assignments experiences like you're overgiving um you're not standing up for yourself you're not speaking up for yourself um you know you're letting people like just manipulate you or lie to you and you know the truth anything like that and sometimes those are hard to to face but those are the truths that you have to start seeing for yourself and calling out you have to call it out and speak it out because these are how you're gonna break these spells or whatever that people are putting towards you and i know some people want to walk away from spells but spells are literally just words that people are saying some people yes they go a little bit deeper into what they're trying to create and manifest with the elements however you could just put, put pour negativity into someone's life with the words that you say to them that's why it's very important to watch who you give your energy to and um, what it is that you open yourself up to receiving information, news, music, movies, other realities, um, I mean, other relationships and um, like friendship, platonic, whatever, fam familiar, how they're actually pouring into you. This is your power. Your power is literally to be able to shine your light from within outside but in order for you to do that is to make sure you know who you truly are deep down in the core without being um 
just drowned by other people's energy and sometimes you're gonna have to go through a lot of toxic relationships or just you know situations that you really don't want to go through but don't be down on yourself once you can see that this is a game and this is like a school so to speak you get to study right when you study you get your a plus when you get your a plus you get to go to the next level that's all it is right and um you get to detach yourself from the outcome of what happens to other people uh based on the choices that they took when they were dealing with you and you get to forgive them and you get to forgive yourself that's the most important thing forgive yourself for creating this uh reality for you to go through forgive yourself for um what you partake in and take accountability so that you don't create that in the next level of your life in the next dimension that you're residing in all right so look at your relationships like it's an assignment what is this relationship trying to teach me am i over giving am i too loving do i need to balance it um for me i see how it affects my masculine energy masculine within me like where i wasn't showing up completely to create the reality that i want to create because i was out creating with others that didn't that i wasn't discerning that didn't deserve my time or my energy or wisdom or frequency now creating today's wellness.com and being more in my purpose i'll allow others to come to me when they are in need of any kind of healing or awareness i don't need to go out and do anything more than just you know communicating what it is that i'm doing and stepping into my masculine energy to do so um it becomes a lot more peaceful that way that's one great way to obtain peace so i really hope this video brought you some type of awareness so the next time you're in another relationship either you're breaking a relationship you're breaking up um you're going into one or you're trying to understand the relationship between you and your parents siblings friends whatever look at it at as you know an assignment what was it trying to teach me what is it trying to teach me um if i'm over giving or anything like that where did that come from how did that start why do i feel like i need to do something to prove my love to someone or, or to get some type of like praise from someone like you know you don't need to do any of that you're already whole and complete you're already enough and you get to embrace that and attract someone who feels the same about themselves so you guys can have this win-win relationship either platonic romantic soul tribe whatever it is and it's easier said than done but remember you chose this assignment so you damn sure could get an a all right i hope this video resonated with you i will see you guys in the next video peace out